Hi there. I wanted to show you something modern running on something less modern. This is a Dell Mini 1011. It's an Intel Atom netbook released in 2009. And thanks to Alpine Linux, it can run Wayland and the Sway window manager. This recording is from December 2024. I've installed two gigs of RAM in mine and an SSD. I'll show you how it performs after it boots. But first, let's talk about some specs uh, for the Mini line. The Inspiron Mini 10 line have 10.1 inch diagonal screens. They came after the Mini 9s, which had 9 inch screens. There are four models in the Mini 10 lineup. This 1011 is a budget version and uses the same CPU as the Mini 9. It has a 32 bit dual core Atom processor, thanks to hyper threading. Supports up to two gigs of RAM. This model and the one before it have 32 bit CPUs and the later two models have 64 bit CPUs. Intel Atom N270, let's start Sway. And I wanted to show you that it can run Firefox. Although it's gonna be quite slow. Usable in a pinch, but not something you'd want to use on a regular basis. As a demo, I just wanted to show you the chart for the mini series that shows the different models. Should get the Wikipedia banner soon. Oh, nope, not yet. All right, I already closed the donation banner last time, so maybe it's stuck. All right, so again, this model I'm showing is the 1011. I, this one and the one before it have 32-bit CPUs. The latter two, 1012 and 1018, have 64-bit CPUs. Most up to two gigs of RAM is what's supported. I added an SD into mine. No optical drive. Okay, battery, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. That's the gist. All right, so Firefox is not really something you'd want to use. It's quite sluggish. I've been using uh, Lagrange as a distraction-free way to browse and read content. Lagrange is a browser for Gemini space. Uh, you can think of it as an alternate reality to traditional websites, but without any frills at all. So Gemini sites don't support JavaScript, cookies, style sheets, or um, much embedded media. Basically, each site is essentially a markdown file. Uh, you can have feeds, kind of like RSS feeds, um, and you can, the browsers do display images, but the Lagrange browser I'm using, you have to click a link and then it will load the image for you, which is not a problem, because most of the time, just want something to, to read, and I don't need a whole bunch of other frills for that. So when you install Lagrange, the homepage is the site for the Gemini protocol. You can think of Gemini as, as um, basically different HTTP and different HTML protocols. So like I said, sites are Markdown, and the HTTP equivalent is a lot slimmed down. Let's just say that. All right, so there's a summary of what Gemini is. If you wanted to read that, you can go to geminiprotocol.net. And on the FAQ page is a list of aggregators. These basically crawl uh, Gemini feeds and we'll show you, not that one, show you what has been updated recently. So you can see who updated their website and then go read what they wrote. Cosmos and Antenna are two of the aggregators that I've used the most. You can also browse as like a, a web directory. If you remember back in the mid-90s Yahoo days, you could uh, 
filter down into whatever category you're interested in and find a list of websites to, to browse that way. So you can do the same thing for Gemini Space. I think there are some search engines, but um, I have not experimented with them very much. But that's the gist, basically. Um, there's also, I did stumble across some personal websites that were part of WebRings, if you remember that from early internet days. Provides yet another way to just crawl websites and stumble upon interesting content that people have written or created. I did find someone sharing a uh, webcomic. So there are some people sharing images and creating art for Gemini sites. Um, so it's a pretty interesting way to pass the time if you want something that is uh, more minimal and, like I said, distraction-free. So pull out your old netbook that you have lying around, put Alpine on it, and try Lagrange and see what it's like to browse Gemini space. Alrighty, that's really all I wanted to show. Let's power down and take care.